We've been telling you about several quality and safety related flaws regarding rail, including plastic shims that are cracking. Today we spoke with the chairwoman of the rail board who says she wants all of the shims replaced, not just the ones cracking. Bridget Namato follows up. Bridget? Yes, Joe. Chairwoman Colleen Hanabusa tells me she wants all 165,000 shims replaced. But the question is, who's going to pay to replace them? We've been telling you that more than 2,100 shims are showing cracks. Hanabusa says the manufacturer agreed to replace the 165,000 shims or isolation pads. Now, she says, the question is, who pays for the labor? Will it be Hart, Kiwit, or the manufacturer? Quite honestly, as long as it's not hard, we don't care. But we also want to be assured that whatever is put in its place is going to work, and we want assurances that if anything happens to it and it's effective again, that they will take care of it. Hanabusa says she does not know how much it will cost to replace all 165,000 shims, but an analysis is currently underway to figure out who is responsible for paying. I did reach out to Kiwit, and in a statement, Kiwit says it is currently testing all the shim material provided to the project to ensure they meet the requirements of the contract. A spokesperson says that will be their only statement at this time. Bridget Namata, KHON 2 News.